Hi Hans. The reason I've decided to do this video is because I've yet again had to do an uninformed decision at a customer site that led to unwanted consequences. Consequences that I would not have if there were basic release notes with your software. There is not a single Twinket developer in the world that likes the way it is now. Everyone wants to get release notes for the software that you are releasing. As a world-class leading industrial automation vendor that you are, I'm 100% sure that you internally have a good process that keeps track of what changes you do between your software releases. You could simply take a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of this information and release it together with every update of Twinka 3 and all the various software functions and soon-to-be packages. Now over the years, mostly because of my engagement in the Beckoff ecosystem, I've had many individuals and companies contacting me and asking me questions about Beckoff. Many of them are on other platforms today, and a common question I always get is what is good and bad with Beckoff and Twinka 3? They ask, why should I switch to and why should I stay away from Beckoff? For all the good things Beckoff are doing, it's very easy to answer. There are many things, and you, all your employees, and all the current users of Beckoff know why working with Beckoff products is great. Your platform is truly the leading automation platform, and from my perspective, there is no one that even comes close to what you are offering. The things I've been able to do, and the projects I've had the opportunity to work with, thanks to working with Beckoff and Twinka3, is simply amazing. It has had a huge impact on my life. But when we come to the bad parts, every time someone asks me what is bad with Beckoff, I always mention that Beckoff, for one reason or another, refuses to do proper release notes for their software. As I want to, and have to, be 100% transparent to potential clients, I always tell this, even though this has led to potential customers going with another solution than Beckoff for this reason. Which I can totally understand. It's 2023 and more and more people from the software industry is approaching industrial automation. One of the things that everyone in the software field takes for granted is, you guessed it, release notes. Actually, you don't have to be a software engineer to want proper release notes. This is something everyone involved in the process of developing control software wants. For the release notes themselves, no one is expecting a PhD thesis for every release. Just a few words on what high-level changes have been done and possibly with more detail if you think it might have an impact on your customer's software. The current optimizations have been made that you write for every new release of your software doesn't do it. Now I know that you are not just the CEO of Beckoff, but also a great engineer. I can't imagine you being anything else considering what you have built up over the years. I can see this engineering and technology first approach everywhere at Beckoff. It's not just the hard and soft products that you're developing, but I see this passion and sparkle in the eyes in every employee of Beckoff I've met. People at your company are truly passionate about their work, and they have every reason to be so. As a strongly engineering-focused company, you must surely understand why I ask this of you. Now for the future. To protect me and, more importantly, my clients, I've built up a tool chain of automatic tests to verify change of functionality during updates of any Beckoff software. I've done this proactively to minimize the risk and impact of updates of any Twinket software, whether that is released by me or by Beckoff through any of your software artifacts. With this, however, I can only get so far. Whatever reason you have for not doing release notes, I kindly ask you to reconsider this and start adding proper release notes for your software. Thank you for your time. I'll feed this in.